thieves use a car to smash their way into a Neiman Marcus store in Beverly Hills. And authorities say the suspects left that car behind, though, when they fled the scene. Let's get right to Jennifer McGraw. She's live there in Beverly Hills, where she spoke with police who are now combing through that car looking for clues. Jen? Rick in court, I spoke with the police of chief. Chief of Police today, who's pretty confident in cracking down on these crimes and catching the criminals involved. This is just the latest smash and grab that's happened here in Beverly Hills. Someone in this vehicle right there drove straight in through the Neiman Marcus in Beverly Hills at the intersection of Wilshire Boulevard and Roxbury Drive. A car drove right through the metal gate and the window right into the store. Officers responded to the store for a call regarding an alarm activation. When they arrived, found a dark colored Chevrolet sedan. But the suspects were gone. By the time police arrived at the scene, the suspects had taken off with an undetermined amount of merchandise. Now, scratch, uh, smash and grab burglaries, that is, and violent robberies have been a reoccurring issue in high end neighborhoods across the Southland, with authorities warning of groups of armed gangs targeting residents and businesses. The chief of police says this was a brazen crime, and his investigators will be actively looking for the suspects involved. The trend that I'm seeing is that it's the same criminals over and over again. The people that we're arresting, it's no surprise they've committed other crimes, other violent crimes, other serious property crimes. And then you look at their criminal record and they've been arrested time and time again. And, uh, you know, we need some help dealing with that. And the chief says that they'll be looking into also federal charges to help stop these criminals and keep them locked up. That's the very latest live in Beverly Hills. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News.